Okay friends, so this is our image in which we are going to practice in SOLIDWORKS software. So let's see its isometric with its isometric view. So this is the its whole view in which we represented its orthographic and isometric view. So let's start its practice. So I came here in SOLIDWORKS software. So we are going to start this software by clicking on this home button by choosing part. And it's open right now. So firstly, we want to see this image and see that how it's which dimensions we should create. It has two view and it is a drawing. It was drawn on this first view. So we as per demand, we are going to draw in the SOLIDWORKS software. So firstly, we choose plan here from this top plan right click and draw a sketch after that we are going to draw a one circle which dimension is 30 diameter we are choosing the dimension here by this smart dimension and giving its dimension is 30 okay after that we draw again a one circle and which dimension is 60. Something wrong happened. So we are what going to do move its center to here and co-centric. Okay. Again, we're going to zoom in by using control and scroll bar button of our mouse after that we are going to make some line here so how so let's see that you choose this and draw a line straight it is how how much long it okay it's 38 38 ready and how much width it has 15 and how much depth okay 10 okay and uh, we are going to take a cent one center line choose a this trim command where it is this is trim command and select this power trim so it can easily we can erase these things okay sorry control z after that we are going to make one horizontal line from this okay after that uh, choose the mirror command and select the entities from this this entities we have chosen and mirror about from this center line okay after that trim this okay see you can see here the change Okay, so we again verify the all dimensions by using smart dimension. How much it is long? Okay, this is 38. Yeah, that's right. This is 15. Yeah, that's right. This is 10. Okay. So all dimensions and constraint motion constraint given here. So, okay. After that, we are going on 3D model. So we are going on that. So um, we are going on surfaces. We are going on features and we are going to extrude it around 18. So give the dimension 18 and OK. It is made like that and if we want to see in this 2d diagram so this is the 
2D model which we had made today. So this is the whole tutorial in which we are practice about this. So is it okay? Yeah, it is okay with this. Whole dimension and whole things are matched. If we want to see in this, like said it, so click here from display style and choose this all these things okay thank you if you like this video and you learn something from that please like and subscribe my youtube channel so you will notify for more learning videos like this thank you